Welcome to Two on Tuesday. I'm going to change it up a little bit today and talk about three pieces of equipment that I cannot go on the road without. Now, these three pieces of equipment, the first is what I'm going to call critical to survival. The second one is just makes life camping a whole lot nicer, especially at nighttime. And three, it's an item that I take that has saved my butt on a few occasions. And in my opinion, I think everybody that's outdoors, either overlanding, doing any kind of adventure, or even going camping for the weekend, should really have on board your vehicle. So first up, and when I say critical to life, what's critical to life? Eating, right? Um, I do not go anywhere without my Tembo Tusk Scottle. And you say, what is a Scottle exactly? Well, a Scottle is South African for basically a disc cooking surface. Similar to uh, in Asian countries, they call it a wok. In South uh, West uh, United States, it's called a disc. But the gist of it is, is that it cooks without any kind of pots and pans and, and, and any of the rest of the stuff that you end up having to clean up after. Um, the way that it's designed is the heating surface in the middle is a lot warmer. The outside edges are a lot cooler. So where you want to cook in the middle and then you want to put things like bread to toast on the outside or things that you just want to warm or keep warm, you push to the sides. Um, what's fantastic about it is it uses basically a cheapo Coleman style burner and you know they're replaceable they're cheap uh, the thing fries out on you I would recommend carrying a backup uh, you, you know you chuck it and you, you put a new one in the other nice thing that I use once in a while occasionally I want to boil water or something just pull the Coleman thing out set it up with uh, you know one of those disposable uh, propane canisters and you're good to go so you can boil water as long as you carry an extra pot. I can't tell you, I own virtually every single kind of cooking equipment known to mankind. Uh, my, my barn looks almost like the, uh, the, the, the warehouse at Cabela's, I think. I've got, I've got grills, I've got griddles, I've got ovens, I've got all this cooking equipment and it probably weighs, you know, who knows, it probably weighs three, 300 pounds by the time you loaded all this stuff up. I used to take this on, on trips all the time Lots of setup, lots of takedown, lots of cleaning, cleaning pots, cleaning pans. I go out with my Scottle. That's all I take now. I cook virtually everything on it. Uh, anything from, you know, regular American hot dogs and hamburgers to uh, stir fry, uh, steaks, uh, breakfast, eggs, everything. Um, it's probably one of the best things you can buy. It's a, in my opinion, it's a little expensive. It's 325 bucks for the kit, which comes with the the scottle, the legs, uh, the carry bag, the uh, you know the burner stove, um, the lid that goes on top of it is uh, I think I paid 25 bucks on Amazon. Uh, the disc itself is about 18 inches. They do make it what they call an adventure model. Uh, some of you may be interested in it. It's a smaller disc. It's about 12 inches and it sits 12 inches high. So you could put that on a table if you wanted to. Um, I'm happy with the, the ground mounted unit and uh, uh, never leave home without this thing. I love it and uh, can't say enough good things about it. The second item that I never leave home without is my solo stove. And the reason that I take that and you know, hey, maybe it's a little bit of a frill, but I'll tell you what, when you're sitting around at nighttime, uh, whether it's just you want to sit around chatting, having a couple beers, uh, late night, sitting around a fire is nice. Oftentimes, no matter where you're going, it gets a little cooler at night. Um, the Solo stove is fantastic. The features of it, it's made out of stainless steel, 304 stainless steel to be exact. Um, the reason I got it in the first place is it's very low smoke. It kind of has a system that's double walled construction. Uh, it does a secondary combustion and um, you know, how often can I tell you you sit around a fire and the smoke no matter where you sit the smoke is going in your face, right? This thing is different than that. So 
uh, highly recommend it. It is a tad on the expensive side. It's uh, about 255 bucks, which I think is a, is a lot less than it used to be. Um, Solo makes a smaller unit and they make a larger unit um, that's really probably made more for your backyard um, you know, barbecue area. But uh, it weighs about 20 pounds, so if you can fit that inside your truck, um, it's easy cleanup. It burns so clean that it very rarely leaves uh, much in the way of ash or residue. So you kind of, you know, can, can dump that out and, uh, you know, wipe it clean and it's good to go. comes in a uh, uh, bag and uh, is easily transportable. So I don't typically leave without that. All right, number three, the last piece of equipment is a battery jumper. And why do you need a battery jump starter? Well, as we all know, you tend to use a lot of power when you're out camping. Whether it's running the fridge, running lights while you're at nighttime, um, you know, whatever it is. For my Overland Expedition trailer, it could be running heat. Um, in any case, I can't tell you how many times that I've overextended myself, if you will. Uh, either there was an overcast day and the solar wasn't working as good as it should have. Uh, to make a long story short, the truck ends up dead and you can't start and you don't know where you're going to be this thing is a lifesaver now in my case the unimog is a 24 volt system some of my other trucks my land rover and my jeep are 12 volts so i picked up a battery jumper that does both um, this particular piece uh, that i picked up is about 190 bucks uh, you can get a lot smaller and a lot cheaper if you're only running a 12 volt system but this is something keep it in your truck um, it, uh, it it has lights built into it it has uh, a port for a usb charger so it can do other stuff too in, a, in a, you know if a, an emergency pops up and you need to charge your phone or something else but highly recommend this one keep it in your truck so that's uh, my two on tuesday for today um, I am outside largely because I had just put the back on the Unimog and that is in pre preparation for a uh, big trip that we got coming up. Uh, I'm not ready to, uh, I'm teasing you about it right now, I'm not ready to release what the information on it is quite quite yet, but uh, you know, stay tuned and we will be talking a lot more about that trip coming up. And um, you know, we're doing some more work here on the trailer, it's now getting cold as I mentioned before. so. It's going to be a little bit limited over the next couple months, but uh, with heat inside, I'm going to try to get some stuff done. And uh, we will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next week. Thanks for watching this video. If you like what we're doing, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the truck and tree symbol to your right. Once again, thanks and hope to see you soon.